Within this video, I'll go through everything that mattered within this week's developer stream. Stay tuned. The host this week was John McFarlane, joined by executive producer Joe Nate. Game designer Steve Dillon was in the brig, and they were joined by Twitch streamer Rocco from Say Hey Rocco. There was no whoopee this week, instead John found himself with a side camera that he dubbed the SAS cam and used that to directly talk to the audience on occasion. The name of this week's dev stream was Fort of the Damned where they attempted to complete a Fort of the Damned. Miscellaneous information and questions asked were as follows. Commendations for the Fort of the Dam should be fixed. Since its launch, the fort has been completed in ways that wasn't done during the playtesting and on the insiders, so they've had to fix commendations for this. Unfortunately, credit isn't retroactive, as it wasn't a matter of the commendation not triggering, it was an issue with the commendation not counting. They've also mentioned that the Fort of the Damned is a mechanic that will stay in game for a long time. However, there are limited time commendations that people will need to complete if they want the specific rewards from them. It was said that Steve was one of the people who worked on the Fort of the Damned and gave some insight as to how the fort was created. He said that he loves forts in general and wanted to do something that had a trigger in game that players could control. He's also a fan of using mechanics and things that are currently in game to ensure they remain relevant and since the flames were introduced last Halloween the team built up the idea of the Fort of the Damned from there. They were asked why can't grapple hooks be customised? John answered they're not grapple hooks and then proceeded to move on. Someone asked if it was possible to add a more visual way to see what flames have been lit inside the fort. Both John and Steve answered saying they don't quite know how to go about doing that. However, they are working towards making the lights themselves easier to obtain. Why are the letters of commendation limited to one per month? Given how easy it is now to gather doubloons, they didn't want people to cheese through their levels and obtain Pirate Legend too quickly, ruining the experience overall and devaluing the title for those who already have it. We'll see if these be leaving Game Pass soon. No, they won't. Evidently someone saw this in a print somewhere. It's a misprint if it was announced at all. They have no intention of leaving. Any new chest ideas? Yes, they have many, although they gave no hints as to what they were. Someone asked if they'll be adding specific fish to the Fort of the Damned region. They hadn't thought about it and it didn't appear to be something that they wanted to pursue. Will there be any new creator crew commendations? They have nothing planned at this stage, however, they are really happy with how everything's progressing. It isn't a race to see who can get them all the quickest, it's meant to be a community building environment for content creators. Joe mentioned that there's no wildlife on any of the islands within the Devil's Roar as they die too quickly, leaving piles of meat for people to collect. The equipment bug is still being worked on, it's more complex than they initially thought it was and a team of people are investigating it. They said if you've bought ancient coins but they haven't come through yet, please raise a ticket and they'll get that fixed up for you. When the stream started, someone was currently doing a Fort of the Damned and the devs tried to piggyback onto the fort but they were absolutely demolished by a two-man brig, as was a sloop that was snooping around the area as well. In total, they were sunk three times throughout the stream by the same brig, who they later formed an alliance with, presumably after noticing that they were playing on the same server as rare employees. Joe experienced a number of visual stutters throughout the stream which wasn't addressed. While doing the fort, a skeleton got stuck on the top of the fort almost as though it was inside the building itself, but it was still within range of a sword. Joe attempted to get killed by a venom snake while blowing it a kiss and the snake just moved away. The rejection itself was quite funny to watch. Joe swore twice and Rocco sang two funny songs as John gave away the codes for the weekly stream. However, that's all for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Aussie accent. Share the video with your friends so we all stay informed. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Hope you're having a lovely day. Till next time.